Intelligence group of self-defense forces won back the ceramics factory in Slavyansk. Earlier, the territory of the factory was occupied by the soldiers of National Guard. There are no casualties among self-defense. Clashes of self-defense with Kiev army continue. Russian Investigate Committee suspects commander of Aidar Battalion Sergei Milnichuk of ordering mortar fire which killed journalist of Central Russian State Television and Radio Broadcasting Company VGTRK, Igor Karnilyuk and Anton Voloshin. This information was given by the spokesman of Russian Investigate Committee Vladimir Markin. Direction layer of battalion Aidar that is responsible for deaths of Russian journalists was found dead in a roadside ditch 20 kilometers from Lugansk, informs the self-defense. Cause of death was not mentioned. Volunteers who helped to evacuate the people from Slavyansk can't enter the town. One of the volunteers, Pyotr Dudnik, told that information to journalists. According to his word, the cars with food and medicines are being stopped at the checkpoints of National Guards. The volunteers can't evacuate children and women from the town. The Parliament of the Union of Donetsk and Lugansk People's Republic ratified a constitutional act that proclaims the creation of the Union of the People's Republics of Donetsk and Lugansk. The constitutional act states that the Union of the People's Republics is a democratic, confederate and state based on justice that acknowledges and protects the equal rights of citizens.